local organization made sure Christmas was special this year for needy families in Collier County. And as NBC2's Sophie Nielsen Colding shows us, it means just as much to some of the people who give up their day to help make it all happen. Food in and out of the oven. Cinnamon rolls. I can do the icing. Right? All to prepare. Let's start pulling these, uh, some of the potatoes. For the hundreds of people coming through the door at St. Matthew's house for a superb Christmas meal. Well, we have surf and turf, so filet mignon, uh, shrimp skewers. One of the reasons why all of us chefs really enjoy it because we get to use our creativity. And really, you know, people say, oh, you work at a homeless shelter, but we do, you know, we give 110% and we create meals out of, of what's given to us. They are families like the Scaris who just moved into the shelter. It, it means a lot, you know, I mean, a lot of places they don't have anything like this and they just open up their arms for anybody who wants to come and have food and enjoy a good atmosphere. We wouldn't have been able to give them that kind of a Christmas without this place. And as for the volunteers helping to make this day so merry and bright. Bringing in the volunteers, signing them in. And it's just a joy. Betty Linebaugh says the meal is making this Christmas joyful for her too on a day that would otherwise be pretty sad. My husband passed away, so by myself, and I thought, hey, I come in here. The same faces, the same characters show up, and it's, it's awesome to, hey, how you been? What have you been up to? Serving up food and family in one room. You pour out blessings to people in the community, but you're except you're getting one back. It'll have everyone in here saying, I'm having a pretty good Christmas so far. And so far, a good night. In Collier County, Sophie Nielsen-Colding, NBC2.